Despite the development of modern medicine, deadly diseases continue to plague mankind as organisms mutate into more virulent and resistant forms. Some of these organisms, for example malaria-causing parasites, are highly complex. This is why the CSIR's Dr. Dalu Mangama works in an interdisciplinary field of study called systems biology, where researchers focus on complex interactions within biological systems. For example, how cells and molecules interact to determine how an organism functions. Hi, I'm Dalu Mangama. I'm a systems biologist here at CSIR Biosciences. And in terms of what I do from day to day, I essentially apply technologies that arise from molecular biology, biochemistry and other interlinked disciplines to understand the complexities that occur in living organisms in terms of how genes, proteins and other components in those systems interact. Systems biology is a discipline that can be applied across all areas of biology, medicine and other related areas. From day to day what we do is to apply the technology or the discipline in the areas of human health in particular. So in particular looking at uh, malaria and trying to improve the way malaria and malaria resistance is combated. We also apply it in HIV treatment to improve the way antiretroviral drugs work and we also apply it in other areas that are more related to, for example, cosmetics in terms of understanding the aging process and how by targeting specific genes or proteins in the skin one can help to slow down that process. Over the past few years, I think what has become clear is that uh, a lot of the diseases that affect humans like HIV and like malaria, for example, are becoming that much more difficult to treat because of, for example, the incidences of resistance that occur in these organisms. And in order to understand how resistance arises in organisms, one really has to understand what the molecular mechanisms underlying this resistance are. The type of person that could typically become a systems biologist might be someone who enjoys working with complex problems, for example, understanding the interactions of many thousands of different proteins and genes in organisms, it would be someone with a lot of patience to actually go through that process of deciphering how these genes and proteins are interacting with each other. It would be someone who obviously has a good understanding of mathematics and statistics, simply because a lot of the algorithms that are developed and are being developed to decipher all these interactions require a good knowledge of those disciplines. In terms of the educational background of systems biologists, what you may typically find is that either they have a training in biology, molecular biology or biochemistry, or they come from a more computational background, but uh, in terms of day-to-day -day systems biology research, you'll find that both molecular biologists, geneticists, computational biologists work together to address specific challenges. A great advantage of working for the CSIR is that the organization is multidisciplinary in nature and through that as a systems biologist I work with researchers who focus on, for example, material sciences research or on computational research and by pooling our skills together we can then apply those to addressing specific challenges that face South Africa.